All right, take a look at this. It's a picture of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on the launch pad in Florida. You see the rocket here on the right. It's going to lift off in a few hours if it sticks to the schedule, carrying a crew to the International Space Station. Now, the mission, mission's commander is NASA astronaut Zena Cardman. She was supposed to launch last year, but troubles with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft change those plans. CBS News' own space analyst Bill Harwood has a great view, it seems, from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and joins us now with what to expect. Good morning, Bill. So uh, how does it look from your vantage point? Are we all systems go for today's launch and will Commander Cartman finally get to space? Well, you know, we always say down here, knock on wood, right? I mean, right now, everything's looking very good. The weather's 90 percent go. They're not tracking any technical problems that we're aware of. Uh, so, all things considered, I think they've got a very good shot of getting off the ground today, and Zena Cartman's going to get her ride to space, finally. Take us behind the scenes a little bit. When an astronaut has to delay a mission or is left off after an initial schedule, what happens? Uh, what do they do? Do they have to start retraining? Because so much effort and planning goes into each of these missions. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, there isn't like a specified retraining program. Uh, if you get named to another flight like Zena Cardman did, you simply start training with that crew to make that mission happen. Uh, if you're bumped off a mission and not immediately reassigned, you just pick up your normal astronaut duties because all astronauts, whether they're assigned to a mission or not, they train in all the basic stuff, you know, uh, how to operate the spacecraft, how to operate in, a, in an emergency, all those things. That training has already been done. So in her case, she was reassigned fairly rapidly and simply merged into this crew that's going up today. And what is the mission? You know, it's like all of these long-duration space station missions. They have a full slate of research activity on board. You know, it's interesting. These missions normally last about six months, but this one could last up to eight months. NASA is considering lengthening these long-duration missions. Uh, that would ease off the need for supply ships, for example, save a little money. Uh, it might reduce the, the, the science in the long run if they have to reduce the crews. Uh, but they're, they're working through all that right now. But the bottom line is, we don't know how long this crew is going to be up. But Cardman told us before launch, if they add an extra two months to the mission, she's ready. She's all for it. Yeah, she's looking forward to this, it sounds. Uh, we also yesterday heard from the crew of NASA's Artemis II mission. What can you tell us about what they will uh, do? Yeah, you know, that's an interesting flight, of course. That's the first piloted or crewed flight of NASA's big SLS rocket in the Orion capsule. It's also the first time astronauts will fly around the moon since the last Apollo mission back in 1972. Uh, it is a prelude to the first landing mission on the moon in the Artemis program if they get that far. That's all up in the air right now because of budgetary concerns uh, and, and, and new directions being considered for the moon program. Uh, but that flight's critical to the Artemis program. And the astronauts, they're here today watching this launch they actually got to put their spacesuits on and climb inside their Orion capsule for the very first time uh, to review procedures inside their spacecraft. So wow. one more major milestone on the road to that flight. Yeah, and if all goes well, uh, they'll launch sometime in February, we think. Yeah, hearing the preps, seeing the footage of all the huge equipment. It's so cool and exciting, quite inspiring stuff. Bill Howard, always great to see you. Enjoy the view out there. We'll connect with you later today.